hard it is, Summer. New school, new friends, I get it. I know, I just... I wish you were coming with me today. Trust me, you don't want to be having study leave. Enjoy being young. Just dress well and don't embarrass me, okay? Got it. How's the physics going? I'm just taking a break. If your whole study leave seems to be a break, so it... What are you wearing? You're going to school, not a beauty pageant summer. So we told me to dress like this. Oh, it's her first day of school. She just needs to make a good first impression, fit in. Fit in? What's all this? I said she could do some of it, not all of it. That's what you're worried about, Zoe. Summer, you don't need to look like your big sister. You're different. You're beautiful without all this. I didn't tell her to look like that, I just... So this is all my fault now? No, Summer, it's not your fault. You were just trying to follow in your big sister's... So is right. I need to make a good first impression. And I can't just be myself. Not at this school. Summer, that's not what I mean. I just... I just think you should act more your age. No, what she needs is a supportive big sister to tell her that people will accept her. No matter what. They won't. Welcome to the 21st century, Mum. Summer, go upstairs and put on some normal clothes. No. Well, this is ridiculous. I'm not standing here watching my daughter like a hooker. Adopted daughter. Great, well done, Mum. Summer looks up to you, Zoe. You have a responsibility as a big sister. You know, you can't just... Just what? ...be like you. She wants to look like and you. And that's such a big problem. For a ten-year-old, yes. Why can't you just accept me as your own daughter? Why do you have to get some kid off the streets to replace me? Because you know what, Mum? Summer's going to grow up just like I grew up. What are you going to do then? Rent another ten-year-old. When's your uncle coming, Jem? An hour. We have an hour to find more girls. He wanted us to find more, Jem. What do we do? I don't know, okay? I don't think this is right. Don't back out now, Lily. I'm just saying. This is really mean, Jem. You're ruining lives. Yeah, and if we don't? She's right. It's them or us. No, Jem. She's like eight. Hey, are you lost? Hi, I was wondering if you knew what Bexley School was. Where from Bexley School? Why aren't you there now? So what, never missed a day of school before? What? Yeah, of course I have. You've been crying. What? Your mascara? Oh, um, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You can sit down. We don't bite. What? You worried about school? No, of course not. Summer hasn't turned up at school. I got a call from Bexley. I knew you shouldn't have said I that. I shouldn't have said that to her. I'm not getting into an argument. No, while Summer's missing. Maybe she's finally made some friends. She's not gonna turn up to school late on her first day. You gave her the directions, right? 
Well, it's not exactly rocket science. Oh, great! So she's missing! We live two streets away. So what is her first day? Did you know where you were going on your first day? Can you just call her, please? She's not picking up from me. Fine. Truth or dare, Jam? Truth. What does your dad do? My parents died when I was five. I live with my uncle. Then what does your uncle do? Uh, taxi driver. Oh, cool. Truth or dare? Me? It's your turn, isn't it? Oh, um, dare. Risky. I like it. You know me. <laughs> dare. Actually, can I go true? That's not the game, is it? You said you were daring. You've never drank it before anyway. What? Yeah, of course I have. So, what's the big deal? You chose dare. Didn't pick up. Great. Chill out, she's probably just made some friends. Look, you're obviously stressing, so I'll go look for her. No, I'll go. No offense, Mum, but she's not gonna want to speak to you. Thank you. Sorry. Look, I I know what you mean. I just feel like I should have done better by you. Like it's my fault. It's not your fault, Mum. She's just finding herself. Okay, thanks. Zoe, I do love you, okay? Okay. Wait, take this with you. Dare. Drink the rest of this in one go. A bit harsh, Summer. The whole thing. <laughs> I'll take the forfeit. Seriously? I'll do it. No, Summer, that's crazy. Summer, get down here now! Guys! Who are they? Friends. Friends. Friends who ditch you the minute they go. What was that all about, Summer? Friends? Maybe if you didn't drag me away from it, I'd have friends and a good start at school. Just like you told me to do. And now look what's happened. You embarrassed me. You embarrassed yourself. Could you even hear yourself? Yeah, I can hear myself. Do you even know what you were drinking? You're 10. Not 18, not 21. This isn't you. You and your friends drink. And smoke. You're the one who told me to act more grown up. Drinking isn't grown up. You and your friends drink. I'm not stupid, you know. Yeah. And I screwed myself up. That's the last thing I want for you. Why were you with them anyway? I was asking them where Bexley School was. Why didn't you just text me? Because you annoyed me. So did Mum. Look, I bought you this. Seriously? What, I'm just trying to be a good sister? No, you're not. You're trying to stop me from being you. But it's done. We're friends and a stupid unicorn jumper isn't going to stop it. Summer! Gemma? What? You said you got the girl. 
Yeah, well, she's not here, is she? Obviously. Sorry. Her sister came and she went. What about the other two? Lily and Eleanor. They're... they've gone home. Who's that? It's Summer. Well, I'll answer it then. Summer? Hi. Sorry about my sister earlier. Summer, I don't think this is the best idea. What? So, just because my sister... Okay, okay. fine. Text me where you are. My uncle can come and pick you up. Your... uncle? He said he needed a lift. Okay, sure. Thanks, Jam. Not a problem. Good girl, Gemma. Got what you wanted. Maybe. So what about the money? It doesn't work like that, Gemma. You get your money when I've got the girl. Okay. Just our little secret, Gemma. 